Hello once again, and this is JJ Ashley Spencer for another episode of my, my beer making sort of thing. Uh, wait, I don't know whether I'm actually making a new episode. Let me just whack it in my head. Am I? Am I? Am I not? I feel. I I, I feel like I am. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I probably am. <laughs> But basically, um, I was going to do it in stages, like the stages of this. Um, probably, I don't know. If it's a new episode, then hi. If it isn't, hi again. But um, yeah, so we're going to continue with the fer fermentation. Fermentation. Fermentation, that's it. Fermentation, what, what the hell am I on about? But um, yeah. So now we're going to be cleaning out, this may as well be a new video actually, cleaning out this. We're going to be cleaning out this, um, where's the little hole over there? I thought there was another one on the other side, or was I just dreaming? Oh, it's just that. So we're going to be cleaning out this with uh, uh, the sterilizer stuff. Apparently you need to put um thingy over this. Um what's it called? Not pseudo cream. Um Oh that's all sticky. Oh, slimy. Um Vaseline over this, so we will be doing that as well. Um But yeah, we, we need to clean this out big time. So we got a beer in here. We got a beer in here. It's gonna stay. Yeah, there you go. So let's pop this. I can actually smell it so much. There it is. I don't know why these little weird yeast bubbles have popped up again. Whatever. But it does it does really smell like beer now. So uh yeah, that's all that's all cool. But I'm literally uh, gonna take it out of here, put it prop it up somewhere, I don't know where we're going to prop it, um, probably one of these window sills or something like that, uh, can we put it in here somewhere, no we can't, on a window sill, <laughs> if only I was doing my fish tank right now, because I'm actually swipping, swapping uh, this for that, but um, I suppose I could do it, but where would I put Scarlet? my next video I'm taking these two guys out suck a fish but yeah mm, well annoying um, one thing at a time Joe one thing at a time I want to dry the sand up before so yeah I'll do the preparation for it but whatever let's get back on to beer making one thing at a time so get a sanitizer I've done that again it's just all grim <laughs> Ugh, lube <laughs> So we get the sanitizer, clean this, and yeah. Okay, so once again, we are in the bathroom. So, got our fermentation bucket here. All I'm gonna do is give this a quick once over, like wash out, get all the like nitty gritty stuff out. And then uh, we're gonna do a proper sterilization. So it's gonna be like a two part sort of thing. The other thing that I want to sterilize at this given moment is um, the cycling tube. I've already got <laughs> I've already got three, but they're all for my fish, and I don't think it's that wise to uh, use use my fish one on this. I, I don't know how this is working. Is it is it coming out like this? Um, uh, I'm I'm not entirely sure. What the hell is this? What why is it? Why is it like this? <laughs> I'm confused. Is this just like, does this just go in here? Uh, um, honestly, don't know. Okay, all right. I don't know how this cycling tube's gonna work because my fish one, you can either just go like that, it will sort of suck it up, or you can actually like breathe in. <laughs> So I've already did the breathing in one obviously, but I don't see how, I don't know, we're, we're, we're just going to have to play around with it and if I can't, I'll research it, but yeah. Alright, so let me just wash all this. So I'm 
so I'm gonna have to put I'm gonna have to put uh, Vaseline back over the rim of this. So it's all clean and all that. Just wash it, washing it with uh, hot water at the moment. I'm getting all the holes. Basically all the holes or all the thread work you have to put Vaseline in. So I'll reapply that obviously. But my plan is to sort of, um, so to fill this up, but then fill it up at an angle, and then like put these in, um, like have these, have these set, uh, sterilized actually inside the barrel. So yeah, who knows, I could spend time doing my fish tank, my mini fish tank, I don't know. We don't know. We don't know these things yet. So. Jeez, that is hot. Well. Quite intrigued this stage of the uh, process, but yeah. Just watch this. Uh, to sterilize the uh, um, teaspoons. I forgot the teaspoon, so let me go and get a teaspoon. Okay, so as I was saying, we need um, four teaspoons of this, and then we're literally going to balance it like this so the hole is facing this way. And then after also we'll, we'll, we'll pop we'll try and pour it out of that so it sort of like affects that bit as well. Oh no, we need to swoosh it around, don't we? I'll put my hand over it. Is that gonna be a good idea? Am I gonna die? We, we, we'll just have to see if I die. <laughs> and then if I die then I wouldn't do it. I'll be your guinea pig. Alright. Let's go one, two, three. Oh god. Right, that <laughs> my fourth one just spilled everywhere, but well, whatever. Goody. Right. Screw it. I'm just gonna attach this on and then. So I'm attaching the tap on the end. But I'm gonna close it off, obviously. I'm gonna face it up upwards. And then I believe it's is it cold water you add? Um Oh, one more. Oh, it's sweet. Whoa. One more. Five liters. Um, I completely forgot how much five liters is. I believe it's up to the first line of the little vessel. That might be uh, a guess, but whatever.
So literally, I'm going to put everything into this vessel, and then we're going to squish it around with this. The joys, the joys I'm going to have with putting, putting this video together, or these, uh, these videos. Right, that should be enough. And I'll wash out the sticks, the sterilized stuff, all over, all over my hands, which is it's a bad move. <laughs> Alright, let me put this in here. Wash my hands. And then we'll shake the barrel up. And then um, and then yeah. This is, this is the last the sink and then yeah I think you you leave it to stand for about 20 minutes 10 minutes there you go so yeah catch you in 10 okay so it's been about 10 minutes now basically what we're gonna do is shake around a bit more I want to open it from the tap down here why isn't it working I want to drain a bit out this tap um, Oh, there we go. Didn't actually do it all the way, so yeah. <laughs> so I need drain. Come on, come on, little tap. So if I if I lift it up, yeah, you'll see it coming out like that. So I'm gonna try and get as much through there just to wash it out, basically. Oh, it's glowing now. And then I'll just open up the top, release the rest through that way. Basically, what we want to do is I'll wash all the accessories that are through here, like the siphon tube and cut. What else did I chuck in Oh, yeah. Got parts of the tube. I think that was, a, that was just it. We'll wash these separately, but basically cold water. You're supposed to wear a glove, but um, I'm, I'm a working man, man. You need no wear gloves. Similar to how it was, and then we'll shake it all around and all that. And then, yeah, we'll get into the next stage. I actually need to be around my mates because I'm, I'm giving him some fish. 
in his new tank, so yeah. Didn't think it would take this long, basically. I was thinking I could do two things at once, but I can't really. Well, then. sterilizing fluid on my beer but in my beer I mean I wish it's been down for a bit, let it all drain out, and then we're going to the Vaseline in bit, and then finally we'll get on to the actual siphoning out of the beer, which is going to be another episode, because it will be too long, so yeah, so I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, so sweet, so we are literally, oh, let, me, let me clean this, so it's a bit like vinegar, I'm doing two videos at once, both cleaning. Oh god, it's gonna get everywhere. Whoopsie! I know it affects the face of the fermentation vessel, whatever it's called. Uh, whatever. There you go. Uh, all tidy, all cool. Um, Alright, so basically, what you need for this step, I'm gonna. Hi. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly dry this, so dry the rim a bit, and then I don't know why, uh, yeah, and then basically you want to get um, Vaseline. I've only got the small one, but whatever. I, I I literally watched this video and it was just like you want a healthy, uh, like a. A healthy dose of uh, Vaseline. I was just like, what the hell does that mean? But yeah, you want a big dollar crown and, and then put it around the rim. I, I, I don't even know what this is for, but whatever. Let's, let's lube up this tube. <laughs> what the hell am I on? So you want to put it all around and then uh, we want to put it uh, on this as well. Um, I hope that towel. We want to sort of like dry, <laughs> dry this, and then we want to put it all around here. I think Vaseline is toxic, so hopefully we don't die. There'll be another one if I die. This video won't come out. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if this tap here. I was about to put it on my face, but how unhygienic would that be? Especially with coronavirus going around. Oh. No one's going to touch their face. 
Right, so we want to screw this on here. La 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 la. I don't know if this is closed or open. I'm going to find out, aren't I? <laughs> but yeah, off. Cool. So, I'm going to not do it so tightly because then it actually affects. So that should be cool. Affects it quite a bit. So we want to close that off. I'm going to keep this open because obviously we need to pour the beer somewhere and it's going to be through the top. So I'm going to meet you back in my room and then we're going to do this. Okay, so okay, so basically we're just going to pull this out, then bring it around here and then put it up here. So sort of like stop it like sort of like marking my my thingy um, window ledge. I'm just going to put these little paper paper bags for my fish fish bags there. That's just going to chill in here, and then basically. The siphoning tube's gonna come all the way down here, and then I'm gonna have the fermentation barrel here. And then we're gonna put the fermentation barrel back in this uh, for, I think it's about five days, and then we keep it in a cool place, which will be the garage downstairs. And then I might start another one. I don't know just yet. So yeah, let's try that. All right, let's go. show you something um, I'm just gonna carry the whole tripod because because I can look at the indentation it's made in this it's almost perfect that is mad by the way th this is my uh my quilt from when I when I was little but yeah whatever <laughs> that means we can just slot the other one right in it should be fine so yeah so that's it there basically we're gonna take this off siphon it out Basically, all this stuff has, all the yeast and all that has just fallen down here. So, yeah. So, we're gonna, I think you're supposed to like siphon it from here, then just bring it slowly down as obviously the, water, uh, the liquid goes down. So, yeah. Let me go and get the fermentation bucket. Okay, so let's do this. I'm just gonna put this, oh, oh no, I can't really put that there. Um, really clean surface. We'll put this on the face of this and put that on my bed. Get up with one hand. Come on. Come on. That'd be quite annoying if it if that fell. <laughs> Just fell all over everything. Alright, cool. So I believe if it's anything like a fish one. And we just I don't know what this this little thing is. It appears not to do anything, but where the oh, right, let's, let's just leave it up there. Might just be the end of it or something. So I believe it should be like that. Wait, so how's how's this work then? We just do it like that. Oh, I get what you mean. Right. Oh. Literally, this just went up. Again. 
don't get how this is supposed to work. I'm, I'm a little bit confused here. Oh, oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna do this bit off camera because uh, it's quite annoying me. And then uh, I'll catch up with you in a bit. So, I've actually got it, got it working. Um, don't know how far up. Yeah, uh, basically, I thought I could like kind of stray away from this, but I feel like I'm going to have to be here forever. <laughs> so this is all uh, all drained, so yeah. This might be a good time to have the beer findings. Um, basically, we're going to have to drain all of this, obviously. And then yeah, right now it smells a bit, a bit like um, snake bite, which is all right. It, it's all right smell. <laughs> I don't mind that at all. I really don't mind that. I suppose I could uh, actually no. No, I'm gonna have to stay here for quite a long time. Make sure this drains. <laughs> it's only drained three liters so far, so I suppose three is better than none. But uh, you're currently seeing nothing. Yeah, you can't really. Doesn't even look like anything's going through. But yeah, um, I'll quickly, quickly show you what's happening. Okay, so, so yeah, th this is it. This is the final countdown. Well, not not the final countdown. We still got. Still got four weeks of uh, making beverage, but yeah, slowly going down into the bucket, or the barrel, I mean, but yeah, can't wait until this is done. Basically, this isn't the actual fermentation vessel, I'm sure this is called something else, but there's a fat one in this, and, um, but this one was like 10, 12 pound cheaper actually, <laughs> I was just like... If we switch the lids, then surely we got the same thing. Like it literally looks the same. So hopefully this works the same. I don't know what the difference between this and a actual fermentation barrel is, but whatever. They're both plastic. They both look the same. We done our research, so yeah. But this feels like it's absolutely gonna take forever. I thought I could just like leave this here, and then it will be cool, but. Obviously, I'm going to have to keep moving this down. And then, yeah. thought I could sort out my fish tank, but I can't. What's time right now? I don't even know the time right now. It's supposed to be around my mate, so, yeah. Probably catch them fish. Uh, clean out that um, fish tank, which will be in an upcoming video. Then catch the fish. And then, um, and then yeah. Go to his film another video there and then go to the gym sweet solid plan joe solid plan don't know if i'm gonna go to the gym i feel quite weak so yeah i might skip gym out for a bit but yeah all right anyway um i'll catch you when this is nearly done when we get to about five so yeah okay so we're reaching the end of the beer basically uh probably got about three liters left or something i don't know how far we can go down to because i can't see the yeast layer yet i don't want to put the siphon in too far oh god losing grip <laughs> losing grip here but um but yeah I suppose I could tilt this and then, um, uh, I don't know, I have no idea, but um, yeah, oh god, I'm putting my hand in all the, that crap, whoopsie, oh actually now I'm starting to see all the yeast marks, so I think I might turn it on this side then drain it out that way, I'm sorry I can't film this, in my actual tutorial I will do this but I can't do this right now. 
So catch you in a bit. Okay, no, I found a way. I'm literally just resting it. But look at all that. That is grim. That is well grim. <laughs> is, that, is that what Marmite is? I don't even know what that is. Whatever. I'm going to have to wash that out, but obviously. But I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to collect any of that. You're not, not allowed to, but you're not supposed to, I mean. Right, uh, the siphoning slipping is... Uh... Actually, no, I can do that with one hand. I want to get as much as I can in here so I'm not wasting any beer, basically. Because... Thing with me, I, I don't waste beer, man. Oh, oh god, <laughs> got a bit of that crappy stuff, but whatever. All right, sweet. So we've got it all in there at the moment. Um, go siphon, try and. Wasn't it balancing? Come on, I'll grab it like yes. Let's start up, put that in there. Right, so we'll wash that out separately. Now my hand tastes like a weird beer. Right, so we get this. Whack this on top. Oh god. Not that wild. And then screw this on all the way. And then, yeah, that's our beer. That's our beer. So, um, apparently, um, according to the little journal... Oh, crap, we're supposed to put this in. It said put this in that and stand for two days. But I'm pretty sure we could just put it in there. Hopefully you can. <laughs> and then uh, stir it with a spoon. And then, uh, yeah... Once fermentation is complete, yeah, or whatever. So let's try that. Let's put this in. I'll put this on a tripod and then, yeah, do it like that.